Guys, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. We did not open a Nicol Bolas or a Planeswalker of any sort to the last M19 draft here on magicthegathering.internet slash YouTube. Uh, it actually might not be the last. It's going to be the last while the Pro Tour Cube is around. However, when that is gone, we might have no other choice but to play more M19. I don't know. We'll figure it out. But we're going to take this Vampire Sovereign. I think it's on... Like, both of these are very good. This is a ramp creature that gives you a 5-5. Five five. This is a Siege Rhino, essentially. Uh, however, this is a lot better with things like Abnormal Endurance. And it's also one color instead of two. And I happen to like black a lot more in this cube than I like uh, red and green. Archer is good. Angel is good. Psy is pretty... Psy can be okay. Uh, am I into Chaos Drafts? Maybe. Not really. Um, only because the sets are never cohesive. Like, you open a pack of Champions, you open a pack of Cold Snap, and you open a pack of Ravnica, right? And, like, there's no way to have a cohesive strategy. So you're just kind of like, well, I got a bunch of these. I got a 2-1 Ripple guy that doesn't do anything. And I got this Soul Shift guy, but no other spirits because, like, a lot of the mechanics and sets are intertwined. Like, they have to do with the, the whole block or at least the entire, the entire set. So you need, like, three packs... I was actually thinking the Lich Might Wheel. I don't think the Psy. I think it's good enough to build around. I like Sift a lot, too. I, th I think Sift is probably better than our first Aviation Pioneer, especially because this is not an artifact, per se. And this is just going to be better than Blood Divination. We don't have the sacrifice, so I'm going to take the Sift. And there's another Blood Divination right there, anyway. I like Rise a lot in this format. Being able to ride, I think it's, I think Abnormal Endurance might just be a, not really good with Siege Vampire, how is it not good with Siege Vampire, I don't understand that. Like this is always good, it's just a, literally a 3-4 flyer for 5 that drains them for 3. Like it doesn't have to, you don't have to play it together, like I mean, like the, this doesn't have to be an artifact. Uh, It's not Field Creeper, I think we can get Field Creeper later. I don't know if it's good enough to take Guardian. Like, we could actually just forego this altogether. I think either one of these are probably better. I think it's probably Rise. I think Rise is more versatile, and we're, we're more likely to see another uh, Abdominal uh, Epidural Endurance. Kind of like Epicure of Blood here. Don't you hate it when, play, when people play Siege Vampire in non-vampire non decks? Yes, I do. Siege Vampire. That's funny. You guys are funny. This is actually not terrible. Exile their Guardians or their Sky Scanners or whatever. I think it's actually just Cancel here. These packs are not great. Child of Night, maybe? Where are my artifacts at? Yikes. I'll take the only card that is remotely playable. Oh, God. None of these cards are very good, though, so I don't feel terrible about it. Anticipate is definitely playable. Epic here might be better than second Anticipate, especially if we can get Neonates. Wow, this is brutal. Oh, uh, I don't think we did get matched against any aggro. No, we did actually. We got matched against a uh, Goblin Bushwhacker deck, and it actually went very, very well. We got paired against the eight, the eight whack deck, and uh, it, the matches were not close. Yeah, definitely taking that. Yeah, walking corpse. You're not miserable, but you're not great.
Chugrin, 31 months in a row. That's insane, buddy. Thank you so much. Really appreciate the consistent. Wow, okay, that's funny because you said that's insane. So I agree with you. I actually said that before reading yours. So I'm glad we both uh, are in agreement that that is insane. Sly also seems pretty good with Blood Divination in the fact that we can uh, make tokens and then just sack a Thopter to draw three. Graveyard Marshal seems probably better than anything else in this pack for us especially. Volcanic Dragon and Luminous Bonds are very, very good. But Graveyard Marshal, pretty solid. Pretty solid gentleman. They took an uncommon out of that pack, and I have no idea what it was. Wow, who has ever passing to us is just our best friend ever. Boop, 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 boop. Like, Banefire is the most splashable card in this in this set, I think. And there's really no excuse when you actually have the, the fixing lands, the, the, the dual lands, at common. Like, there's no excuse whatsoever for that. Now we're just going to take Sky Scanner, which is great for Psy, it's great for hitting our land drops, it's great for all the things, it pairs well with Graveyard Marshal after it dies. These first three picks have gotten, uh, have given our deck a little bit of a boost. Rise is also great with Windreader Sphinx. Grave Digger is exactly what we want to see. I will take a fourth pick Grave Digger. No, that was only that was only a third pick, right? Like these. Are, oh wait, we first picked Graveyard Marshal. Oh wow. This, these have been our five, our first five picks here. I want to take this Highland Lake because Banefire. I definitely want a Macabre Waltz, but we already have Rise from the Grave, so I'm not too worried about it. Jesus. Oh, another Highland Lake. Hmm. Probably another Highland Lake over a Duress. I can get behind that. Yeah, this deck is great so far. Psy is the only card that's underwhelming, but even as a 1-4 for 3, I'd still probably just play it. The fact that he does, he does actually uh, make tokens with the right cards, I think you're good. Open the Graves could be pretty good. It's only non-tokens, though. We do have Graveyard Marshal and Psy. <laughs> oh, good stuff. Good stuff. Nightmare Slayer? Does that do anything for us? We have Child of Night, Vampire Sovereign. I'm just going to take Open the Graves. I think it's it's the potential of it is stronger than... Uh... Hmm. We don't have any, like, life gain matter stuff, right? Not yet, anyway. I'll just take the Doom to Cinder. Oh, Cinder Barons. It did actually come back. I don't know if we need it now, though. I don't know if I want a third. I'd rather just have, like, a Manolith if I need it. I think Doom to Cinder is probably better with Graveyard Marshal. And, uh... I guess that's pretty much it. I guess that's pretty much it. Yeah, Macaw Waltz came back. All right. I'm game. Wow, another Blood Divination. Got the Child of Night anyway. Okay. Wow, two Bog Stompers, huh? Look at this idiot. <laughs> oh, that's not very nice. Look at this art. This art cracks me up. Look at this guy. Oh, he's not hurting anybody. They are gentle herbivores despite their size. Oh, that's adorable. 
fraying omnipotence not super exciting not the best third pack we're gonna see i'm not super excited about strangling spores we don't have a ton of removal right now so maybe that's the pick i don't think it's any of these blue cards the only other option is epicure of blood it's probably just spores actually diamond mirror could be good we have a sigh and we have a bunch of black cards this might be better than epicure of blood or uh, strangling spores rather I mean, we don't have any, uh, we don't have any six drops, so it is very possible to play this guy. Gentle herbivores. Herbivores. Yeah, but he's got a big old smile on. He ain't hurting anybody. He's also eating the grass. Come on. Just let him be. Let him be. Yeah, I'm gonna take the Diamond Mare. Blood Divination number 19. Gore Claw. Hmm. Do we care about Switcheroo? I think we'd rather just have this for the Psy. It's one of these two. I don't care about, I just don't care about the, uh, I don't care about switcheroo here. I'm going to take the sky scanner. Did we get abnormal endurance? No, not yet. That's sad. Either way, it's sky scanner. Or it's magic online crashing on us. Okay, well, we got the sky scanner, so that's the only, that's the important part. Oh, blood letter or abnormal endurance. Ooh, that's nice. It's one of these two. I don't think we need a Rupture Spire. We already have two Highland Lakes here for our one of Bane Fire. Dismissive Pyromancer is also very, very good, but I don't want a red two drop. It's one of these two. Abnormal Endurance on a Grave Digger or on a Vampire Sovereign, or even on a Wind Raider Sphinx, is pretty strong. We have 11 creatures. I'm gonna go with that. Oh, dang it, should I gone with the other one? I'm gonna take the Guardian Gearsmith here actually because, no, we're gonna take the Skymarch Bloodletter. Oh, why is Diamond Man on the sideboard? Get over here. Get over here. That's a little, little more combat meme for you. Archer or Pioneer? I have let you down. Yeah, you failed me. I'll go with Archer for the versatility here. I like a Disperse. I don't like Field Creeper at all, and I probably wouldn't play it even though we have Psy. Yeah, I'll just take the Disperse. I think we already have a Duress as well. No, we don't. Still like Disperse better. Manolith? That's a thing. That's a thing I can consider playing. That'll be my 23rd card if we don't get a better one. Ogre, not bad. I could consider playing an Ogre. We have two Blood Divinations in the sideboard and a Blood Divination in the main deck. That's pretty impressive. Triple Blood Divination Sift deck. That's where, that's where we want to be. Wow. All right, now we're definitely playing these. And we have two Doom Descenders already. Yeah, that's pretty impressive. We're going to take the Cancel out of the main deck, and we're probably going to cut... Probably cut the Blood Divination over the Sift. I would say we're not even playing blue, but like we have Psy and Wind Reader Sphinx. It's pretty good. Those are some late... Yeah, I do like... I actually like uh, the Open the Graves in this deck as well, which is pretty interesting. What if they got the four blue cards? This deck's really weird.
Mm, that would do us anyway. What if we did take out the blue? Like, do we care about that? We can take out the manolith as well. Take out this guy. Is that any good? I mean, Lava Axe is kind of playable. Child of Night would come in. Like walking corpse. We just don't have a reason to not play Wind Reader Sphinx and Sigh in this deck. Like, is this deck good? We also have a rise, but we have no removal, so like we're just hoping to. Well, we already have a blood divination, so. I wonder if we could just put another blood divination in the deck. Yeah, I surprisingly don't hate Lava Axe in the deck with Banefire. I probably like it better than Walking Corpse, to be honest, which is really weird. I don't think we're a Mind Rod deck. I can also cut the Apparatus and just play Manolith just to give us a ramp to, uh, like, 5 and 7. Or 5 and, you know, X. But it doesn't do anything, really. And this is actually a removal that we don't really have a lot of. Lavax is actually amazing in this format. It's very surprising. I'm trying to figure out if this deck is bad. If the blue version is just better when we have Psy, Wind Reader, Sphinx, and we also have, like, this is a very easy splash. But we would be adding two extra red cards. child bring in the sphinx bring in the psi this is 23 I like sift probably more than blood divination but well, we have five flyers and we have whatever psi makes with the other like this makes two with with, with psi I think that's strong enough to just play I don't love macabre waltz because we also we already have grave digger and rise from the grave Okay, well, this is good, whatever you do on Magic Online. No idea what's happening right now. I guess they're framing Skyscanner here. Hold on. I think Psy is totally fine. It just gives you more creatures to attack with Brawl Bash Ogre. Like, it gives you more flyers to attack with Wind Reader Sphinx. Like, it just makes our best cards even a little bit better.
I don't know where it is. There it is. Okay, we found it. Edit deck. All right, let's go back. We'll figure this out. This is 24 cards. Open rise. Epicure. I don't think I care about the Epicure of Blood. It doesn't really do anything in our deck. We have like eh, two mediocre life gain effects. Uh, are all these better? I don't think... We, oh, we don't care about Macabalt either because we have Gravedigger and Rise from the Grave, which I think are fine. Uh, I do want to play like Anticipate maybe just to have a... Let me have Sift and Blood Divination. I don't think I care about... I probably want to Disperse just to get rid of something that's obnoxious. Yeah, we'll add these guys. Oh, I guess Manalith. Actually, I like Manalith better, yeah. Especially for the fixing. So 10 seems great. Um, probably go 966 or 955. 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, which is actually 10, 10, 6, 6. I want to add one more blue and take out one more of these because you want double blue. So let's do that. All right, this deck is interesting. Hopefully it's good, too. I'm pretty sure if you get one Thopter off of Psy, it's just a better Aviation Pioneer, is it not? So, I mean, with five artifacts, it seems just fine. play first. Yeah, keep this hand. I like it. Nice and slow. Well, that's not what we wanted, but I will play it now, which is nice. That's nice. We do want a swamp, but the problem is if we hit a swamp, we're... Actually, I guess we could still use a sixth or a seventh land, theoretically. That is correct. We did not open a Nicol Bolas, and that's not fair. <laughs> Don't you... <laughs> I was watching you on I was watching on YouTube earlier. I hope you noticed. Well, that's a good card. I'm a little intimidated by that. Oh, that's great, because now we can Blood Divination. If we draw a, a, a Swamp, we're just playing that. Well, we're not. We didn't. We're not. We didn't. Actually, do we just play Blood Letter? Blah, 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 really wanted a Swamp here. If we sack this guy, we're going to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. We're going to go 6, 7, 8. And... I really want to open the graves. I feel like this is just better. I feel like we can maximize the number of tokens we get from...
We want to maximize the number of tokens we get out of open the graves. So we also don't need to draw anything necessarily. And come on, how long will it really take for us to get a, a second black source? Famous last words. Well, now you're just being rude. I like that they don't have uh, the activation mana for this guy because we don't have a ton of removal. All right, we nailed it. One, two, three, four, five, six. We'll have seven mana, presumably. So we're going to play this, hopefully hit a three drop. comes the island okay here comes the island again coming down it feels like a memory oh, soon but do oh baby oh. one two three four five six seven all right so we can't go over Grave Digger unless we draw an untapped land. We can double block a Bogart Brute. A Birdie Tootie. Real tempted to kill this Mystic Archaeologist because that guy can get real out of hand if they hit a second blue. Our hand is pretty good though. Oh, that's a second blue, but it's a good second blue. Now it lets us plan. Killing my zombone. It's connected to the neck bone. I feel like they can't really attack here with anything but the brute. Yeah, that's fine. Hmm. Yeah, we actually have to kill this, I think. This feels bad, but it's got to be done. Uh, we can actually rise from the grave this guy. That's actually pretty cool. Uh, we're not going to do that yet. We're definitely going to play a land. I think we just get Brawl Bash Ogre. What? It was the same song? How's that even possible? Actually, let's get Grave Digger. I'll get back a blood letter. I think. Rise from your grave and rescue my daughter. That's a good game. Yeah, I like blood letter here better. It's a better man use. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That lets us play rise and blood letter next turn if we don't hit a land. Sorry if that sentence was poorly phrased. Don't have a main language. I'm sorry. Spencer, how is English not your main language? <laughs> I don't have a main language. What does that even mean? You get out of here with your... Oh my god, this deck is getting aggressive. Squirtle Squad, what's going on, buddy? Thank you so much. Really appreciate it. I was raised in a lab, okay? All right, take it easy. Take it easy. Just take it easy. Um, yeah, one, two, three, four, six. One, two, four, five, six, seven, eight. Not, wait, right? One, two, three, four, five. We have eight. Eight manners. I think we just want to go wide here. Um, yikes. 
This deck is scary. Yeah, we're gonna play you and a and a brawl bash ogre here. We are not in a position to attack, unfortunately. We have a lot of value. Like, you can't actually kill any of these guys without getting... You're going to tap something down. Probably this guy. And double block you. Block you. We'll take five. Yeah, bomb it. That's vomit-inducing. That's a good dude. Although if it dies, we can rise it and still activate it. That's pretty good. So what we want to draw is a is a sky scanner so we can go psi sky scanner. Psi scanner. Come on, buddy. This is game one, right? The big fan sounds much less menacing than large. Hi, I'm a large fanatic of your work. Oh. Well, you should probably take it easy. Oh my. Oh my. Well, that's sad. We don't have great blocks here, which is really sad. I kind of want to get rid of this guy. We take se okay, we take a million. Oh god, these are such bad blocks. This is just, just feels like a kill what you can situation where we like block here. Actually, I don't care about that. We'll block here. I'll block here. A block here, we take six. Yeah, I guess that's the best we can do. They have no cards in hand though, so that's pretty okay. Oh god. Volley veteran can come back and kill nothing, unfortunately. Oh man, that's a good card. They're just gonna tap it down though. But then we have three blockers, right? They tap this guy down. We have we can go double block here. And then we take six and die. I think it has to be Psy get back a thing that's valuable. It might just be get back sky scanner, to be honest. Which feels weird. We can also sift to try to hit an explosive apparatus, and then we can go Psy apparatus, and then we have five blockers, one of which can easily chump the Spark Tongue Dragon. We can also go sift, discard Wind Raider Sphinx, get it back with Rise for a two mana discount, presuming we hit a land. What keeps us alive here, though? It, it might just be Psy. 
sky scanner. That seems really bad though. Wow, this is tough. <laughs> so the thing is, if we play Rune Sphinx, they're going to tap it down with the, 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 the stag. So we have these three blockers for these three creatures. Worms, 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 thanks so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. Um, the problem is, we then have to block. We have three creatures for these three guys. This we can't block. So we're automatically going to two. That forces us to single block. Oh, no, we can block with Blood Letter, I guess. And then double block here. Actually... All right, yeah, I think this is a play. All right, all right, I forgot about the Bloodletter. Yeah, Bloodletter might do it. And we get to draw a card off the Spark Tongue, so. We're gonna go to like two here, which is pretty bad, but oh, here we go. Okay, that's fine for now. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't be a... Finally, I get to. Appreciate it. I appreciate that kind of commitment to support the content that you enjoy. Don't do anything dangerous. All right. If they attack with this guy, we're just blocking here. If they attack with this, we 100% have to kill it, and we're also getting a guy out of it, so that's nice. Ideally, we're rising Gravedigger to get back Bloodletter and replaying Bloodletter because the life is irrelevant. This can take over a game. Betrayers of Kamigawa does look like a small fan. Good times. All right, here we go. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. All right, three blockers, three blockers. Draw my card. Mm -hmm. We could actually get rid of this guy. And take... We have to... Actually, we have to take the... We have to block here. And we have to block here. Right? How does this look? Hmm... This guy comes back. Oh, God. Let's see if you got that shock or slash pump spell or slash lightning strike or slash. All right, feeling better about that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We have nine mana total, so we can go four, five, six, seven. We can play a two mana spell. If we hit it, like a Doom Dissenter, they can no longer deal with this. We could also play Sift and just Rise Bloodletter. Yeah, I think we have to do that. Oh, we're one mana shy. One, two, three, four, five. We can also get back a stag, but I don't think that's very good. We can also get back volley veteran and kill the sky scanner, putting one more dude on the board for us. I think it's probably blood letter though. Two, 
Two blocks here, one block here, one block here. And next up we can go Psy Sky Scanner, which is pretty good. Not attacking for obvious reasons. Plus, if they want to attack both these guys, we get to draw two, which is not bad. We just have to not die. Oh, I don't want to die. Here we go. And of course. Lucky, 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 lucky. God, it's so it's so infuriating, dude. You're like you're working so hard to try to stabilize. You're like, all right, we're stabilizing. We're gonna be able to come back. We're working our asses off to try to get like into a position where we're like fucking managing every single resource and every single creature and every life point, and they're just eh, lava axe you. Okay, you got it. <laughs> cool. Uh, Chase, just so you know, reanimating a sky scanner does not actually trigger Psy, it's a cast trigger. So, not correct. If that's what you mean. Yeah, we still get an initial blocker, but it's the cost of future resources that we might need at different times. Plus, we have to spend seven mana to get the Sphinx on board at some point, and uh, I, I think you're disregarding the future value of that. I'm just going to play this guy. Whereas Rise is also better when we have a better target than a Sky Scanner, so... I mean, either way, both lines are, they're both lines. Like, it's both, it's possible to do both, but I don't know. You got to pick and choose, man. You can't do everything. Fascinating. 
Uh, how many artifacts do you need? I don't think you need many. Like, like I said, if you actually play one after you land a Psy, it's just a better aviation pioneer. Right? It's a 1-4 and a 1-1 as opposed to a 1-2 and a 1-1. So, I mean, otherwise it's just a 1-4 that's pretty good in this format as it blocks most things. Are we having such hard... Like, we have nine sources of black mana in the deck. I don't know why we're having such a hard time drawing two swamps. And we can double block here if they don't have anything and trade either a Sire or a Child of Night for a Havoc Devil. That's actually not bad. Uh, this is round one, game two. Hmm. Well, blood divination, boys. I mean, they're at 12. If they attack for four, we're attacking for one, two, three, four, five, and we're gaining two, so. I don't feel like attacking is super preferable for them. Yep, about that. One, two, three, four. Still no second black. Okay. Three black cards in hand, one black mana. If we get a second black, we can play Graveyard Marshal and start making guys. Or we can just play both of these, which is also fine. This is a very strange uh, situation with this, this, with these lands and whatnots. Oh, I see. Wow. Very aggressive. Yeah, and I would say Psy is already good now uh, off of that one sky scanner. Because next time they block our blood letter, then they take four from the flyers, and then Vampire Sovereign would kill them? Presumably? I was actually hoping they would do that because it leaves less wiggle room for something to go wrong next turn if we do hit a black. If we don't hit a black man, it's really sad. This is incredible. Actually, I think alpha with everybody might be good. Like, they block here and here. They take one, two, three, four, five, six. They go to one. That actually seems fine.
Uh, it doesn't leave us dead to another lava axe because they have. Uh, we have a card called Child of Night that has Life Link. Oh, it's not greedy. Definitely not greedy. Especially because we can still do that. Mm, yep, that's fine. Probably going to kill Sky March Blood Litter here, I would presume. Uh huh, uh huh, uh huh. And they can't attack here or they're dead, so totally fine. I feel like our odds of hitting one more black before they actually get a chance to attack or build their board is pretty high. This is a good card. We can attack with both, draw two, and then draw another one. I don't think we have a reason to, though. Saw Mike at the Wendy's by my house. We shared fries and talks and I brought up the stream and quickly realized it wasn't your mic. Well, that's super weird. Who was it? Yep, that's a big boy. That's a land. You have one card in hand. Okay, I think this is a game. I can't tell if you're serious with that, because that's hilarious. If you shared fries with someone, and, like, it was just a literal stranger, you're just like, he wants to share some fries, and this guy's like, yeah, man, I don't know you, but okay. Oh, the old post-combat heroic reinforcements. That's a good sign. Here's a Lava X. Lava X, you bro. Now you know how it feels. I kind of like Duress here, actually. They have some pretty strong stuff. They have Heroic Reinforcements. They have Luminous Bonds, Lava Axe. We can't hit their Dragon Boys, but... It's still pretty good. We also have a diamond mare, which should have helped us gain a million life, but but alas, no. Maybe we take a sift out. I'm just gonna submit. I'm going to keep this hand. It's a little bit sketchy, but it's actually not if we hit lands, but, you know, that's a big if, guys. That is a big if arena. Okay, we're doing it. Still no second black, though, which is almost comical at this point. There's nothing we're dying to play on turn four, so I'd rather get the blood litter out now. We also have a land. It's 
going to run out heroic reinforcements on turn turn four? That would be amazing. No. Havoc Devil. Oh, we did it. We're so good at this game. This is the child of the night. Oh, whoa. Oh, yeah. If we get to land to open the graves next turn without anything going wrong, I'm feeling good. Because then we can untap, go Sky Scanner into something else, which is also two tokens. Two tokens. It's actually one token, but it's really two tokens. It's one token and one artifact. Yep, that's a good one. So long, child of the night. I loved you. And you died. So if one of the top two cards are lands, we get to go Sky Scanner, Blood March, Blood, Blood Letter. Sky Scanner, Blood Letter. Scan the skies, let the blood. Ten man, anytime, buddy. Thank you for the subs thank you for the long time subscriptions. That's what I'm here for, guys. I'm here to support you guys at your at your work days that you hate. That's rude. You did a rude thing there, and I'm not a fan. This is my zombie boy. This is my zombie. This is my zombie. Oh my god, that's so good. Yep, feeling good about this board state. Not attacking good, but definitely Windrider Sphinx next turn good. I actually love my job and this stream. That's good. Oh god, they they could not have played that island faster. Yep, had a feeling it was Volcanic Dragon. Yep, we will block with you. Now we can either actually... Yeah, I mean, hope, hopefully we just hit a land here. I don't love that. I think we just block with Bloodletter again. Ugh. I hate not doing anything this turn, though. It's pretty bad. Sky Scanner might be fine to just pick up. It does give us another block next turn. It's probably correct. Or we can actually just rise the Sky Scanner. It gives us one step closer to hitting a land. They have three cards. Yeah, we're just going to rise here. It's a better use of mana. Okay. Everything you say to me. Good, because we would have drawn the Sky Scanner this turn anyway, which is worse. Yep, that's fine. We're just going to block it anyway with Sky Scanner, so... God, don't have Essence Scatter or Bone to Ash, I guess. <laughs> Look at 
Look at this little guy getting in there. Land one time. Not Highland Lake. Non-Highland Lake land. It's a regular untapped land. The universe is a simulation. Why is magic the way it is? Did you say a Highland Lake? Oh, I got you, buddy. This is going to be a heroic. No, this is a mystic archaeologist turn. Okay. If you could stop killing my guys with your spells, I would appreciate it. Here comes regular land, ready? Boop, doom to center. Talking about my wind reader sphinx. I have six guys here. I wish they had vigilance. You block one and kill it. Yeah, I don't feel good about that attack. You can literally just take it all and then your crack back is very good. Uh, they're under one card, but they have a Mystic Archaeologist on the board. One, two, which, I mean, I guess they have to tap out to use it, which is fine. Come at me, bro. We also get to gain two from the Diamond Mare next turn, which is nice. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. We really don't want to put ourselves in uh, Lava Axe range, so I'm not going to do that. Yep, that's what we were afraid of. Okay, well. It's a lot of lands here that we're hitting off of our things that are one, one, two, three, four, one, two, three. So what we can do is play Gravedigger and get back like Sky March Bloodletter just for the life. Puts us back to seven, puts us back to eight. So I think we actually just wait, right? Six, seven, eight, nine blockers, 10 blockers, and they have one, two, three, four, five, six cards, six guys. They just get to eat one for free. We're not attacking with any flyers, that's for sure. If they hit heroic, it's actually not that bad, right? One, two, three. If I mean, if we attacked, it would be. But one, two, three, four, five, six. They have eight, eight guys, and we have six, seven, eight, nine, ten blockers. Only one of their guys has trample, and this is still only a five, five. We block here, block here, or just block here, block here, which is significantly better. Oh yeah, if we attack and they they play heroic, it's actually ridiculous. But if they're just doing this, it's actually pretty good. I assume one of the cards is a land. No. <laughs> yep. 
Yikes. See, I really just want to attack with this guy just to draw the card. I think it's probably safe to do so. Okay, okay. Yep, that is fine. Yeah, this is a lot of guys and a lot of life. Also, we're going to pour Bane Fire is a real thing. How many, uh, turn, it was turn 11, and we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Just put that on Volcanic Dragon and attack. I guess we take 6 here? God. Oh, you put on that guy. That's actually better, because now we'll just block here. I'll draw two cards. Oh, my God. Yes. There it is. Yes. I mean, it's four damage versus three damage, and one of us gets the guy off the board. However, <laughs> yeah, it's got to be this. We got to go to... Yeah, this is fine. Sure strike. Okay, we're going to one. Now we're going to two. Can we kill you here, actually? Banefire seems insane. Actually, we might just win this game. I think this is just I think this is just over. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We can deal you nine. All seven has to get through. You have four. Yeah, this game's over. Let me lava ask you a question. Lava axe you. Let me bane fire you. Let me bane bane fire you a question. This is terrible. None of these are working. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Actually, they go to... The, the, the explosive apparatus would do it by itself. Which is pretty comical. Still had all these. I'm going to play this, but then I'm also going to Bane Fire. Bane Fire! You'll get caught up in the... It's not even... It's not even luck when you still had all these. <laughs> oh, good times, good times. Kid Cabbage, eight months in a row. Thank you so much. Really appreciate it. Welcome back. All right. All right. Woo. Bane fire. You'll get caught up in the Bane fire. This hand is good. I'll keep it. <laughs> Always be starting on swamp so that you can get your uh, grave marshal down on turn two if you. <laughs> the person who passed the bane fire is definitely the real MVP. Thank you. <laughs> You've improved our drafting experience exponentially. Be a sky scanner. Okay. Always be swamping. A, B, B, F. Always be bane firing. <laughs> Sky scanner. A little doo-doo dissenter? Okay. 
I don't feel like they're essence scattering because this guy is. Uh, it feels like that was an F6. You can tell by how fluidly it goes from uh, phase to phase. Uh, I don't drink and I don't smoke. What are my vices? Pizza. <laughs> oh, isn't that cute? Look at that little guy. Hmm. Marshall, Marshall, Marshall. This is actually going to be a good turn. I have a full set of every single vice. <laughs> oh, I don't even believe that's true. I don't think you're. I don't think you even have that many vices, beer man, man. Yeah, I think my. I think diet soda would probably be my vice. I guess diet Coke, diet Mountain Dew, diet Dr Pepper, what have you. It's my go-to as far as hydration. I don't like that they did that. I think that was rude. We're still way ahead here. Boop, boop, boop. I don't have to tap this guy to do it, which is pretty insane. I wouldn't consider overdrafting blue a vice. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. Ain't nobody got time for that. Yeah, we're probably just playing this guy. While we can. If we attack with everybody they block here, they take five and go to go to five. But we lose our graveyard marshal. We could attack with three, get three through. Nah, we'll just pass here. Oh my god. Lucky, 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 lucky. The worst MTG card ever printed in terms of usability. That's a definitely. A, I, I definitely feel like I've. Uh, I know what that card is. I just. There's no way I can think of all the thirty thousand, seventy thousand, however many thousand magic cards there are right now, and and, fig and remember. Well, why didn't you play around the uh, buzz, buzz, boo, boo, the card that has the thing and the damage and the stuff. I guess. No, oh, no, not bad, not bad. I mean, we are very, very live to a bane fire right now, and we do have a blood divination in the deck. We also have a rise from the grave, a grave digger. We have a lot of cards that are live here. Yep. This seems like a more than fair trade.
They killed the Sky Scanner over the Vampire Sovereign? Well, that doesn't seem correct at all. We can take five here. Sapphire Surge, thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. I feel like it, they obviously don't have Essence Scatter or else they would have used it. They also don't have Cancel now, so that's pretty cool. Gotta be something good. Switcheroo. Unbelievable. They could not have tapped that mana faster. I have no idea what those emojis are. Just give me a Bane Fire so I can just feel better about my whole life right now after their cleansing Nova switcheroo epic blowouts. Yeah, Sapphire Surge. I, I was like, where do I know your name from today? And now I remembered. I like that they have yet to kill this vampire sovereign. Are they just afraid of like the rise from the grave? Yep. Seems good. <laughs> oh, let's just do that. <laughs> lucky, 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 lucky. This is definitely the cancel matchup where you're like, no, 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 no. Child of Night kind of sucks. Duress seems great as well. I was born in the Bane Fire, molded by it. You merely adopted the Bane Fire. <laughs> We have a lot of value. Like, we have Sift, Blood Divination, Grave Digger. Rise from the Grave is great. Um, I'm going to add one more island for the cancel just to feel better about it. Right, good game in chat. <laughs> Scumbag GG. I actually like... Actually, man, what if we bring in, like, Millstone and we're just like, I'll mill you out, bro. Oh, yeah, right. If they if we had opened the graves when they cleanse, when they cleansing Nova, like, pretty solid, man. Uh, this hand is keepable for sure. And they let us play first? Wow. That's a bold strategy, Cotton. Let me draw open the grave so I can go Manalith into open the graves. That would be great. Also, Blood Divination next turn. Woo! Give me them. Give me them. Give me them hit points. What does that mean? Nobody knows.
Lucky, 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 lucky. I mean, with this hand, we're probably just going to run out uh, Sift instead. Uh, one, two, three, four blue. One, two, three. We'll just get rid of an island. Play a swamp. You got it. It's pretty good. I mean, if they want a Cleansing Nova and kill their own Aerial Engineer, that's fine. We also get a uh, zombie out of it. Here's another chair for your collection, Slenderman. Yeah, he does that. He does that one all the time. It's from an old Slenderman like playthrough on uh, on YouTube, where the guy does a Bane impression for the entire playthrough. In before Switcheroo again. Our hand is pretty well positioned for the uh, for the cleansing nova. Like we get this guy back, and you lose two much better creatures, and we get to grave digger this guy back, play grave marshal. I don't think they have switcher, or else they wouldn't have taken this long. This is interesting. We draw another card, which is fantastic. They're 100% thinking about Nova here, which means we're definitely blocking. If they have Inspired Charge, I'll take one more point just to play around an Inspired Charge or a Mighty Leap. Like Nova here is just great for us, holy smokes. Oh yeah, we get to keep a 2-2. We get to do all the things. Let's duress you immediately. Jin, Angel, and Dwarf. All right, that seems fine. One, two, three, four, five, six mana. So we can actually go Grave Digger, Grave Marshal. It's just pretty good. No, we're gonna do this instead. Grave Digger. Get back Wind Reader Sphinx. Grave Marshal. Put you to 10. I mean, an argument can be made for a Vampire Sovereign just because of the reach is very good, but I mean, this is a Windreader Sphinx, and we know exactly what's in their hand, so I'm not terribly concerned with it. Sure. That's pretty good. <laughs> Yep, we're just going to pass here, get Doom to center out of the graveyard if they don't do anything. If they try to do something, we'll cancel it. And they block here, they take six. Can't even handle it, dude. Oh, so they block here. That seems bad. 
I mean, we're going to put them to five this time, especially because we can eat whatever they put in the graveyard. Well, we know they just have Dwarven, Dwarven Priest now. And if we hit a land, we can actually eat three guys, which makes three two twos. And I don't actually see how they can... Oh, hit the Scholar for free. All right. That seems good. It seems real real bad to not... Yeah, just gain your life. Don't be greedy. Wow, that's, a, that's an interesting attack. Yep, that's what we wanted to see. All right, so we're just going to pass here. We're going to make three Zombones. And this is how the game gets away from us. That was an incredible series of, uh, of draws there. <laughs> I'm actually very impressed. Scared of Doom to center. Let's get rid of. I mean, if we have like Rise, we're just gonna play. We're just gonna get Vampire Sovereign back. We don't really care about the Sphinx right now, so I think it's more important to have the bodies. They have four blockers. We can deal them four, five, six. Uh, Psy is a thing though. They have no cards in hand. So, we can kill this guy. They go block, block, block. They take six. Wow. If they take sixth, how are they just dead? They block these three, they take six. I mean, I'm saying they take six when we apparatus this guy, not... Yeah, they do block everything. They go block these four, or block this guy and three of these guys, they take four. I'm, I already accounted for that. <laughs> Come on, Josh. Uh... Sack two artifacts. Like, we can actually sack these two. I think we, like, uh, having a blocker here is great. Also, we can sack this in Manolith to draw a card next turn. Sack Gravedigger. No, we're not doing that. That's incredible. This doesn't seem real. I mean, we can still draw towards Banefire. Like, that's not a... Oh, not doing that. So one, two, three. The problem is we only have two mana. We can only do, we can either make a guy or we can explosive apparatus to this guy, which I think is what we're gonna do. Or th th this guy actually, so. One, kill this guy, two, three.
assuming they block two of these guys. So they're gonna take one, two, three, four, five. They go to three, and if we actually hit, God, is it worth attacking first? Gen of Wishes is really problematic and we just don't have that much removal in our deck. The problem with doing Blood Divination first or after is that they're actually probably going to kill... They're obviously going to kill Psy in combat. They go 6-6 six, six on here, 2-4 on here, 2-3 two, on here, 2-2 two, two on here. They take 6. Maybe they don't. I mean, this has to be our last shot anyway, so let's just do it. This is totally fine. Whatever. It's fine. Mm -hmm. Okay. Psy lives, which means any artifact is live here. Is there anything for double black that we really want to cast? No, but there's nothing for double red. So we'll just go one, two, three, four. <sighs> yep, that's that's the game. <sighs> I know we threw this game away at some point. That's unfortunate. Do you have anything that, oh, Disperse is actually pretty good for the Knightly Valor. Yeah, we're bringing that in as well. How is any artifact live? Because we make an artifact to block the Psy. Or the to block the other guy. We have a Psy token. I actually wonder if Lava Axe is reasonable. I wonder if we just board into like a more controlling deck. Because I feel like our control deck is actually better. What draft number is this? Oh god, 42 maybe? I have I don't even know off the top of my head. Uh Brawl Bash Ogre is probably one of our better threats. They don't they're not super creature heavy. I I, I don't think we'd cutting Brawl Bash Ogre, especially with double doom the center in the deck. There's only one more 2-2 to make. We only had one card in our graveyard, and I wanted to keep it because it just wins us on the spot with Rise from the Grave. So, we literally, we literally chose to make one less token in order to play a flyer, which seems completely fine. Apparatus is kind of mediocre without Psy. What if we just cut the Psy? And bring in, like... Mind Rot, Macabre Waltz, it's got Diamond Mare. That's actually fine. Uh, this is our second draft today. Yep, we're gonna keep this hand all day. Double black, double blue.
Yeah, I don't know, man. Like, you're talking about the millstone turn. Like, that was 10 minutes ago in game time for me. I have no idea. I want to play Manolith because if they have, if they're just keeping Essence Scatter up, like, I'd rather not deal with that. Yeah, Essence Scatter or Sky Scanner? No. All right. Seems good. Uh, the amount of lands we've drawn is not good. One, two, three, four, five, six, eight to three. <sighs> My least favorite ratio ever. Well, that's pretty nuts, though. Banefire is good with more lands, I guess. Gearsmith Guardian. Yep. Well, thank goodness for that. Unease Joker, thank you so much, man. I really appreciate that. Thank you. Uh, yes, we did go 2-1. Naturally. Ten lands, four spells. I mean, I think our deck is great. I am excited about the deck, but I mean, not not much we can do about ten mana to five spells. Yep, seems good. Well, I'll tell you what: if we end up getting to eighteen mana before they kill us, I will regret keeping the bane fire or using the bane fire. A sift and a cleansing nova. That's just a joke. Oh, we'll never need this. <laughs> We're actually blocking now because if we go to five, any removal spell for our flyer gives us gives them lethal. Don't call it a comeback. Oh, I have switcheroo. I'll give you my 2-2 two -two knight for your 3-4 vampire. Yeah. Jesus. Disperse would be nice, but unfortunately, now we're just dead on board, so...
Sky scanner and cancel? That is not terrible. Yep, here you go. If you have this, why slow roll it? It wins you the game. Come on. <laughs> Jesus. Yep. I have a lot of zombones. bones. The question is, are they connected to the leg bones? I will also sift. Does Rise do it for us? Gearsmith Guardian, Sky Scanner, Blood Letter. I really just want the card from the sky scanner. I really just want this guy to be dead so we can play that. Yeah, ironically, the card is more important. Jesus, this is sad. <laughs> There's seven zombies. God, why is this? Uh. <laughs> If we attack, they block three, they go to six. We lose three guys, though, and they lose none. Just doesn't do it. I mean, Open the Graves did a lot of work this game, but we just literally drew a million lands, so... Just that guy. Well, we have to block. It's pretty okay. Are you kidding me here? Yep, that is a game. Three cards away was disperse. I mean, disperse bounce this guy replay it is actually a legit, a legit thing. Then we attack. If like if we drew disperse, bounce this guy. We have seven attackers. We can throw them all in. They take two, four, six, eight, eight. They go to six. Yeah. Ah, oh, deck seems great. I feel like we're actually insanely in that game if we drew gas at any point in time uh, instead of infinite lands. Wow, the sand seems great except for Banefire, Windrider, Sphinx, and 4-5 drop. And this seems better. I will actually keep that. If we can get a red source and a black source before turn 5, that would be great. I have no idea what this is. Please don't come up again. Diagraph cool. <laughs> it 
and before we take four on turn two. Oh, Jesus. All right, well, we didn't take four on turn two. Well, we hit, we're halfway there. Apparatus is a good play next turn. We're halfway there. Yeah. That's the sound of me dying on the inside. Play a round of cancel paper statements with your insurance company on stream. That was a good time. That was a good time. Bugler City. Whiff City. Alright, I like it. Take me down to the Whiff City. Yeah, this guy's just better, right? I guess we take five here. Like you do. Oh, they ordered wrong. That's fantastic. Oh, that's a good, that's a good, that's a good, good. That's a good, that's a good, that's a good, good. We're going to go block, block. We take two. The problem is Sif doesn't do anything this turn. We like it. We, there's something we can draw that we actually play. So it's probably just better to play this. And then whatever whatever draw we have next turn is decent. Unfortunately, I don't think we're bold enough to double block here and take five and go to one. I guess we're going to four. I guess there's no point of this, right? Like you just block here block here Jesus are you serious right now we're just literally I guess one two three we kill this guy and then die to everything else god magic is such a stupid game sometimes man it's actually unbelievable let's see what we would have drawn if we actually just played one of these draw spells in our hand absolutely nothing okay sounds good yeah, let's bring in the child of night because you're extremely aggressive and an uncomfortable chill. I don't care about that. I'm just going to bring in child. We have like nine black sources plus a manolith. Our odds of hitting a black source are pretty high. So I think I'm gonna keep this. It's probably like eight or nine out of 34, which is, yep, there we go. We did it. We're good at this game. Uh, I wasn't done with the format until we 3 0 yesterday. Someone paid, someone, someone donated a draft, so we just, we did one more and then we 3 0 So now we have more packs. There's an argument for playing Bloodletter here, but if we draw an artifact like a Sky Scanner or a Manolith, uh, it's just we just get a free token the next turn. So. Wow, that's two whiffs? I don't even know what we played. It was just what? What did we play? 
That's actually just fine. Oh, we're out of gas, so hope your hope your seven cards in hand can keep with my seven one, two, three, four, five, eight, eight lands, three spells. Oh, it was yeah, it was black white with a chromium at the top end. I meant nine lands, three spells. I'm not a huge Bugler fan in Limited either, just because it, it whiffs very frequently, even if you have a high concentration of guys. Nine lands. <laughs> I mean, like, it is what it is. What are you going to do? Hmm. A Planeswalker. How nice. And you hit a zombie. Everybody's winning. Ten lands. Hit another zombie. Double diagraph cool deck. Seems good. Grave Marshal. Seems very, very good. Grave Digger with no cards in my graveyard. Seems terrible. Infectious Horror. <laughs> Two more damage. Oh boy, we are having a good time. Wow. What was it? Sift into two lands? Seems good. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 lands. There are five lands in our 23 cards. And we played 41. <laughs> uh, we can ban for Liliana, but the Desecration, Desecrated Tomb and the Grave Marshal are probably just going to take their toll on us. Whereas that guy needs to be taken care of now. Hey, not a zombie. Thank goodness. Well, that's a zombie. Are we finally going to be able to get in there with our... Are we finally going to be able to kill Liliana? Are we still in this game? I don't know. That helps, I think, maybe. Oh, thank God. I'm just gonna keep playing lands. I, I don't see a reason to have, like our, our sift is already gone, so we don't actually have. Hmm, boy. What? What even is happening right now? Doesn't get trample, right? All right.
Yeah, you usually need you usually need twelve lands like me to in, to in order to get games like this. Oh, here comes Angel. Send me an. A they only have eleven cards in their deck. <laughs> if we draw Blood Divination, it's great because we have Psy. We probably should have played the Mountain because if they have Mind Rot, we just lose the Grave Digger. Lich's Caress. I could not be more happy to make this trade. This is the best. Four lands in the deck. Yeah, I just don't want their Doom Dissenter to get the dude back. I mean, I think we're doing fairly well considering the amount of lands we've drawn. One, two, three, four. Four spells, five, six, seven, eight spells to uh, 14 lands, 13 lands. Nope, not using that many black. We actually have one red card in the deck, so we might as well just use all the red, right? Never complaining about lands again. Just don't have a murder, I guess. Yes. Yes! Cleansing Nova. In before Cleansing Nova. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, there is the angel, but I don't think that's going to really stop us. I'm actually just tempted to attack with all three just because drawing three cards here is pretty good uh, for the low price of one blood letter. It's either draw three or draw one. And now we can actually kill the angel and play another flyer. Yeah, I'm okay with all these things. We also get another thopter too. Two thopters. Always yelled with that guy. Oh yeah, we just took over. We're going to draw a million cards next turn. I have no idea how we came out of this game, but we just beat Liliana Graveyard Marshal. That seems pretty good. If we didn't bring in Cancel before, we're definitely bringing it in now. Yeah, I'm always getting Facebook invitations like, come to Monday Night Magic here in Minnesota. And I'm like, what? Why are you inviting me to this? Now I can't see my actual invites from people that I know. That's sad. Okay, let's do a little block in. This guy's coming in too. Coming in hot. When he dies, draw a card? Yeah, we can just do this and take three. This is fine. This is six cards. <laughs> I'll keep the blood letter back, actually. That guy seems worth... Uh... Yep. 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 We're at nine cards? Yep. Nope. That'll do. 
I don't need. I don't, let's not get. Let's not get crazy here. I don't want to deck before they do. And we can make two guys with Grave Marshal here. So that should be... I, I have I have a feeling this is... Uh, yep, that'll do. All right. Yeah, this definitely feels like a cancel matchup. So we're going to bring in the cancel. And what else was not good? I think everything was pretty good. Take out one Ogre. The difference is, Mike, if you invited me to, like, a Monday Night Magic or an f and I would actually go because you're my friend, and it would be under the premise of just hanging out with my friend. So, like, that actually makes more sense to me. Why are we playing 41? I frequently play 41 cards. Because when you see games like that where I draw literally 14 lands and 7 spells uh, in the early game, it mitigates some of that. It's kind of like playing 16 and a half lands and uh, 23 and a half spells. Worms, 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 do I know you? Do I, do I, are you an IRL? This hand is amazing. Oh, well, now it's just scary. Spooky scary. Nice start. Oh, that was a good draw. I think we say black, even though we're going to gain a life from this. I'm going to say blue here. Uh, blue is more relevant right now. We could have saved this and uh, made another Thopterist on one of the turns. Like, could have played Psy. Oh, this is, all right, this is going okay. And then we could have played Manolith into Diamond Mare. And now we get double block here, which is nice. Unless they have a trick. Don't have a trick. Don't Luminous Bonds me, bro. That is just fine. We really need to hit Atlanta if we play Sky Scanner here. Oh, that was so good. Thank you, Magic. Oh, thank you, Magic. All right. We got Vampire Sovereign live next turn if we hit a black. We got Manolith. And Bane Fire for two if we hit any land. Here comes Angel. Yep, that's a good one. I will 100% eat Graveyard Marshal if you uh, choose to attack with that guy. I really don't want to take eight here. I could probably be fine with taking five. We can triple block here and kill this guy, and then bane fire this guy. Yeah, this seems fine. I'm regretting not choosing black now that we've drawn like a million black cards. This is still good though. We get to go Manolith, make a guy, Doom to center. I think we're actually doing very, very okay right now. They have two cards in hand. We have infinite blocks forever. We got life gain, got some reach, got a big fat beefy boy.
How dare you now I spam invites to the random magic events in MA. It just got to be too much today. Someone's like, hey, come to my event and wherever. And I'm like, are you serious, man? I'm trying to find it. It's probably gone by now. So we're going to go block here, block here, block here. Or God, what if they have some, what if they have a crazy trick? Is Psy pretty much outlived his usefulness, you think? But then they just kill Psy. Then we're just trading a Psy for a two-headed zombie. And they're just making it 2-2, but I don't think we care about that as much as we could. Whatever, I'll deal with this. Or we can actually sack the two zombies. Oh, I like that. Oh, we don't have the... I always think it's just sack... Like, you're sacking two artifacts. Why do you have to pay two blue? Why do you have to pay a blue and something else anyway? Like, that's stupid. Don't be stupid, Magic. Yep. Old Blood Luddy. We got a Vampire Sovereign, though. And that should actually do some... Oh, that's good, too. Don't bond this guy. Block, block. Yeah, it's fine. Get in there for two. They can't make a zombie this turn, so I might as well just trade with anything you might have. Oh, TJ's Collectibles. Yeah, I know Tom Shea. I missed 20 events as Facebook was burgeoning. We might have overdone it. Yeah, <laughs> that's actually hilarious. <laughs> yep, that's what I figured you'd have. Gotta love it. I guess we'll take five here. Oh, we're definitely killing Bangel. One, two, three, four. God, I really want this to go to the graveyard. <laughs> I can actually jump block, and uh, we, we should be good with the Windreader Sphinx next turn. They only have three cards. We're really filling their graveyard here. All right. This time you're probably going to hit, I imagine. Third time's a charm. Infectious horror. Seems mediocre. But that's okay. Yep, that seems good. The infectious horror gone. So you have angel and two head. We'll call it two head in hand. All right. I'm not gonna go to six here because they're gonna have a lot of power on board. I'd rather just block here, play Wind Rider Sphinx if we draw land. Well, isn't that something? they play Angel, we take three. God, do we just rise the sky scanner? That seems absolutely terrible. I was feeling great up until this point. We know two of their three cards, right? If they go Angel, what are we doing? We're going... They're probably not attacking with this guy. We'll block here. Block here. Take three, go to five. Rise gets decent. God, I really wish I named black. I named blue because I, we were more. it was more instant. Like, we would actually be... We'd have Doom Decenter. One, two, three, four, five. We'd have five extra just inconsequential life to play with. 
I don't think it's Rise here, because we're not casting this. We also don't care about getting Infectious Horror back or Doom to Center. Yeah, I think this is actually the play. We'll see what happens. I really wish I would. I mean, like, Blood Divination into Sacrifice this to get it back with Rise at some point is very, very good, but... This is actually okay, because we're going to get a zombie out of this at least if they kill the Diamond Mare, which they probably will. Oh, no, they don't. All right. So we just take the three that we thought we were going to take. And we get to kill the Diagraph, so... Oh, God, gross. Are you serious? <sighs> Come on, man. Guess we're rising this guy. Okay, that was actually a reasonable draw, all things considered. Skyscanner also gets us a zombie. We know they have two at a giant in hand. This is, this is kind of ridiculous. Ready to watch that Norman from Honor? Should I watch that? I mean, it's up to you. I mean, like, I think you should watch it <laughs> oh boy we have a good time funny thing is I'm a really big fan of this deck doesn't matter could have taken three and just like double block this guy we get a zombie out of it we get one of the flyers out of the way and then next turn if we draw the land we have a blocker for this but uh, as it stands with them having this many flyers like we're just in utterly terrible shape go to two like this is so bad like we're gonna have nothing on board except for us for this guy we double block it we're just dead this game is just absolutely over we can't deal with three flyers is the problem we play one and we still take five and it wasn't even that would have drawn us into sift one two three four we would have sifted it got a blood letter Whatever. Either way, thank you guys so much for watching. Really appreciate it. This will probably be the last M19 draft for the foreseeable future until uh, the Pro Tour Cube is gone. But really appreciate the support. If you guys want to slam those like and subscribe buttons, check me out on Patreon, check me out on Twitch. Uh, you can do all of those things with the links below in the description. And I will see you guys next time. So uh, take it easy.